Banh mi or banh mi, Vietnamese, aj mi refers to a kind of sandwich that consists of a Vietnamese single serving baguette, also called banh mi in Vietnamese, which is split lengthwise and filled with various savory ingredients. A typical Vietnamese sandwich is a fusion of meats and vegetables from native Vietnamese cuisine such as cha lua, pork sausage, coriander leaf, cucumber, and pickled carrots and daikon combined with condiments from French cuisine such as pate, along with jalapeno and mayonnaise. However, a wide variety of popular fillings are used, from shu mai to ice cream. In Vietnam, sandwiches are typically eaten for breakfast or as a snack, they are considered too dry for lunch or dinner. The baguette was introduced to Vietnam in the mid 19th century, when Vietnam was part of French Indochina, and became a staple food by the early 20th century. During the 1950s, a distinctly Vietnamese style of sandwich developed in Saigon, becoming a popular street food. Following the Vietnam War, overseas Vietnamese popularized the banh mi sandwich in countries such as the United States. Terminology In Vietnamese, the word banh mi is derived from banh which can refer to many kinds of food, primarily baked goods, including bread and mi wheat. It may also be spelled banh mai in northern Vietnam. Taken alone, banh mi means bread, but is understood to be the Vietnamese baguette. Via synecdoche, it may also refer to a sandwich, with the term banh mi kept being used to disambiguate. In particular, banh mi often refers to the sandwiches made on Vietnamese baguettes, which may be called banh mi Saigon, after the city in which they were popularized. However, even in Vietnam, a banh mi for breakfast implies a meat filled sandwich for breakfast, not just bread. A folk etymology claims that the word banh mi is a corruption of the French pan de mie, meaning soft, white bread. However, banh or its nom form bing has referred to rice cakes and other pastries since as early as the 13th century, centuries before French contact. History The word banh mi, meaning, bread is attested in Vietnamese as early as the 1830s, in Jean-Louis Tabard's dictionary Dictionarium Latino Animiticum. French colonists introduced Vietnam to the baguette, along with other baked goods such as pâté chaud, in the 1860s, when Vietnam was part of French Indochina. Northern Vietnamese initially called the baguette bon thé, literally, Western bon", while Southern Vietnamese called it bon mi, wheat bon". Nguyen Dinh Chu mentions the baguette in his 1861 poem, Van Thé Nia Si Can Juoc. Due to the price of imported wheat at the time, French baguettes and sandwiches were considered luxury items. During World War I, an influx of French soldiers and supplies arrived. At the same time, disruptions of wheat imports led bakers to begin mixing in inexpensive rice flour, which also made the bread fluffier. As a result, for ordinary Vietnamese to enjoy French staples such as bread became possible. Many shops bake twice a day, because bread tends to go stale more quickly in the Vietnamese climate. Baguettes were mainly eaten for breakfast with some butter and sugar. Until the 1950s, sandwiches hewed closely to French tastes, typically a jambon burr moistened with a mayonnaise or liver pâté spread. The 1954 partition of Vietnam sent over a million migrants from North Vietnam to South Vietnam, transforming Saigon's local cuisine. Among the migrants were Le Minh Nok and Nguyen Thi Tin, who opened a small bakery named Hoa Ma in District 3. In 1958, Hoa Ma became one of the first shops to sell banh mi teat. Around this time, another migrant from the north began selling cha sandwiches from a basket on a mobilette, and a stand in Gia Dinh Province present-day Phu Nguyen District began selling Phe Lao sandwiches. Some shops stuffed sandwiches with inexpensive cheddar cheese, which came from French food aid that migrants from the north had rejected. Vietnamese communities in France also began selling banh mi. After the fall of Saigon in 1975, banh mi sandwiches became a luxury item once again. During the so-called subsidy period, state-owned pho eateries often served bread or cold rice as a side dish, leading to the present-day practice of dipping ki in pho. In the 1980s, doi moi market reforms led to a renaissance in banh mi, mostly as street food. Meanwhile, Vietnamese Americans brought banh mi sandwiches to cities across the United States. 
In Northern California, Le Van Ba and his sons are credited with popularizing banh mi among Vietnamese and non-Vietnamese Americans alike through their food truck services provider and their fast food chain, Lee Sandwiches, beginning in the 1980s. Sometimes banh mi was likened to local sandwiches. In New Orleans, a Vietnamese po boy recipe won the 2009 award for best po boy at the annual Oak Street Po Boy Festival. A restaurant in Philadelphia also sells a similar sandwich, marketed as a Vietnamese hoagie. Ban mi sandwiches were featured in the 2002 PBS documentary Sandwiches That You Will Like. The word ban mi was added to the Oxford English Dictionary on 24 March 2011. As of 2017, ban mi is included in about 2% of U.S. restaurant sandwich menus, a nearly fivefold increase from 2013. Ingredients Bread A Vietnamese baguette has a thin crust and white, airy crumb. It may consist of both wheat flour and rice flour. Besides being made into a sandwich, it is eaten alongside meat dishes, such as bo co, a beef stew, curry, and phe lao. It can also be dipped in condensed milk. See sua ong though. Topic: <inaudible> Fillings. <inaudible> A banh mi sandwich typically consists of one or more meats, accompanying vegetables and condiments. Common fillings include steamed, pan-roasted or oven-roasted seasoned pork belly, Vietnamese sausage, grilled pork, grilled pork patties, spreadable pork liver pâté, pork floss, grilled chicken, chicken floss, canned sardines in tomato sauce, soft pork meatballs in tomato sauce shu mai, head cheese, mock duck, and tofu. Accompanying vegetables typically include fresh cucumber slices, cilantro leaves of the coriander plant and pickled carrots and white radishes in shredded form du chua. Common condiments include spicy chili sauce, sliced chilies, maggi seasoning sauce, and mayonnaise. Varieties <inaudible> As with Western sandwiches, a wide variety of popular banh mi fillings are used. A typical banh mi shop in the United States offers at least 10 varieties. The most popular variety of Vietnamese sandwich is banh mi teet, teet meaning meat. Banh mi teet noi, also known as banh mi pate cha teet, banh mi dak biet, or special combo, is made with various Vietnamese cold cuts, such as sliced pork or pork belly, cha lua, pork sausage, and head cheese, along with the liver pate and vegetables like carrot or cucumbers. Other varieties include Bon mi bai shredded pork sandwich shredded pork or pork skin doused with fish sauce Bon mi cha bong pork floss sandwich Bon mi shu mai minced pork meatball sandwich smashed pork meatballs Bon mi ka moa sardine sandwich Bon mi pate pate sandwich Bon mi ek sa shu or bon mi teet nun barbecue pork sandwich Bon mi cha lua or bon mi gio lua pork sausage sandwich Bon mi ga nun grilled chicken sandwich Bon mi she vegetarian sandwich made with tofu or seitan in Vietnam usually made at Buddhist temples during special religious events but uncommon on the streets Bon mi cha ka fish patty sandwich Bon mi bo margarine sandwich margarine and sugar Bon mi trung opla fried egg sandwich contains fried eggs with onions sprinkled with soy sauce sometimes buttered served for breakfast in Vietnam Bon mi kep kem ice cream sandwich contains scoops of ice cream topped with crushed peanuts. The Vietnamese bon mi sandwich has been adapted to Lao cuisine as cao kai Lao, and to Cambodian cuisine as num pang Khmer. Topic: Notable vendors. Prior to the fall of Saigon in 1975, well-known South Vietnamese banh mi vendors included Ban Mi Bala and Ban Mi New Lan which opened in 1968. In regions of the United States with significant populations of Vietnamese Americans, numerous bakeries and fast food restaurants specialize in banh mi. 
Lee's Sandwiches, a fast food chain with locations in several states, specializes in Vietnamese sandwiches served on French baguettes or traditional banh mi at some locations as well as Western-style sandwiches served on croissants. In New Orleans, Dong Phuong Oriental Bakery is known for the banh mi bread that it distributes to restaurants throughout the city. After 1975, Bala owner Vo Van La fled to the United States and, along with Lam Quoc Tan, founded Banh Mi Bala. The Eden Center Shopping Center in Northern Virginia has several well-known bakeries specializing in banh mi. Mainstream fast food chains have also incorporated banh mi and other Vietnamese dishes into their portfolios. Yum! Brands operates a chain of banh mi cafes called Banh Shop. The former Chipotle-owned Shophouse Southeast Asian kitchen chain briefly sold banh mi. Jack in the Box offers a banh mi-inspired fried chicken sandwich as part of its food truck series. McDonald's and Paris Baguette locations in Vietnam offer banh mi. <laughs> See also